Hello, hello! If you are looking to learn how to repaint a car, do a car body rust repair, or uh, find out a way to fix rusty wheel arches, you are in the right place. This is a car painting video for beginners. To say more, I'm a complete, uh, complete beginner as well, because this is going to be my very first paint job that I ever did. So, uh, just join me on this journey and hope you will enjoy it as much as I did. This rusty bucket is my working one and uh, this video is going to be about my very first paint job I ever did and it's basically how it looks as a finished result. So if you're planning to paint your own car or your own van, any sort of vehicle or anything else you want to be, uh, start paying for the first time, I think it will be an interesting video for you to watch and hopefully you can pick up something good in the same way as I am. I picked up from many different videos I watch over YouTube. So here on this uh, video, you, right now you can see the extent of the damage that there, there was. There was lots of rust and um, lots of scrapes, cuts, and probably it is the paintwork, factory paintwork that comes on this vans, uh, Mercedes or Crafter. It's the best uh, testament that people of Germany can still make really good schnapps because whoever painted at the factory must be on it big time. I also have a roof rack where I uh, cut it various uh, bits and pieces and it's uh, just rotted away and as you see on the sides of the van the rust just runs down with the rain water and stuff. Lots of different spiders that you can see growing underneath the paint so all of them are from a little uh, stone chips that are landed through and pierced through the paint and basically allowing moisture to go into contact with the metal below. All of those spiders that you actually see only a small fraction from what really is in there simply because the majority of them are invisible. I took off the side panels and uh, decided to start off the project from working on inside of the wheel arches um, and I also discovered that this one been damaged before and somebody resprayed it prior to that as you can see the old plugs have a uh, paint over them. At this very moment I still didn't know how much of a filler material is actually deposited on the sides of this van but um, it's, it's all still yet to come. Uh, because there is a uh, holes where panels are actually molded the water gets into those holes very easily and uh, all of these sections are actually fill, filled with the water. So I decided to to do the whole painting process in stages because the surface area of the van is so big that it's simply uh, impossible, it's totally not feasible for me to to do everything on such a big scale. So I decided to use uh, folds in the body like uh, those sharp angles and lines uh, to use them as a parts where I will transfer between one stage to another and uh, have it like a little overlap so I can actually buff off um, during the other stage and that should give me good coverage without any breaking so this is the tools basically grinders and different brushes and uh, as I mentioned I planned off to start everything for wheel arches as um, you can see it's not the worst state in the world but certainly not good um, I was actually quite surprised because I don't really work with automotive uh, things I was surprised that there is so, such a poor designs like this lip in here it will allow dirt to sit there and absorb moisture and it's obviously always going to be something wet sitting in those lips so I decided to remove all of this stuff and um, shot blast it and basically once it's shot blasted I yeah, decided to use zinc to fill all of this shot blasted areas with the zinc and um, after that, I simply put some paint over it and uh, you will see all of these things in the process um, in different parts of the video. As I mentioned before, all these cavities uh, hold tremendous amount of water and it was very very surprising to me that the factory come up with a design that would allow these things to happen. So quite clearly they are not really interested in producing a product that will last longer than uh, these things could last if you actually pay attention and done a really good job on it.
inside the wheel arches what you also see is when somebody was laying out the uh, plywood uh, inside they made the, the box around the wheel arches and they put screws in it right through the arches and it's all rotted out so I will need to deal with that as well now Zynga it's not uh, advertising or anything but Zynga is a kind of a product that I choose to use for this particular job um, I call it paint but the guys who produce it they're call it called Zynga galvanizing complex because um, what that is it's um, zinc particles in some sort of a binder and they reckon that it has about 96% of all solid material in this um, solution is actually zinc and uh, when you start using this thing you start realizing that it's actually um, definitely not a paint so you'll see I've cleaned everything up and shot blasted and now you see me everything coated with uh, this product zinc Zynga You can see seam where two panels come together and you'll see two holes with screws in it. It was a bit cold outside so I used the um, just to use a regular heater for a space heater for warming it all up. I also used the glass filled fiber and body filler and uh, deposited all of these things in, into those cavities. Uh, on the Russian segment of YouTube uh, I picked up quite interesting information on how to work out the amount of hardener, hardener that you need to add to your filler material. Basically, you make a nice round, nice round surface uh, shape, and uh, then by the instruction it says you need to add three percent from a mass that you apply into. So you divide it in half. That will be your fifty percent. And then once you divide that again, what you will end up, you will end up with uh, 25%. I'm trying to divide it into even parts, just so I can be quite precise with what I'm doing. So, again, once you divide it again, you'll get your 12 and a half. divide that and you end up with roughly 6% and if you divide those 6 into 2 parts again you will end up with a 3% so technically if you um, deposit amount of hardener which will be equivalent by volume to the part which you end up with you should have the um, same amount as what was requested by instruction by manual obviously all you need to do now is just mix it really thoroughly um, so the whole hardener gets distributed evenly through the whole surface area of the putty or whatever you like to call it I find it hardens up fairly quick so um, but, but that's a good thing because you can actually work it in the um, in reasonable time and you don't have to sit and wait for ages until the whole thing gets hard enough. The purpose of it of this was to fill up all cavities where dirt can potentially sit and also what you're looking at if there is a joint between two different panels and that joint provides the sharp edge. You can see the slip that was there so it's all filled up with this as well. So the, the joint that I mentioned provides a sharp edge and uh, when things fly in like stones and other bits and pieces flying out of your tires they hit in that sharp edge and they can split that protection whatever you have in there and that's where all corrosion starts um, then I discovered another product uh, just a seam sealer um, I bought it from Halfords 
and uh, basically it's quite interesting product it's incredibly stinky however it works like a paint you just brush it on and once it cures itself it pretty much turns itself into kind of rubberized component so I just sealed everything up with this product to start with as you can see this edge is no longer sharp edge as what it was before and where edges where two panels meet together and I also put some plastic bags on it and I sprayed it with a anti-chip I didn't want anti-chip to land on the, on the anywhere on the paint even so so I'm gonna knock that paint off but it's much harder to knock off the anti-chip because it has a much more heavier load on itself the type of anti-chip that I used was a um, Gravitex it says underbody cavity uh, sealer and uh, anti-chip and prime reason why you choose Gravitex is because as you can see in, on the bottle it says Gravitex can be painted rapidly with many different paints over the top of it so I choose to take off the old paint with a special wheel which looks like a just a really rough rough sponge and uh, once the paint was removed I was using uh, just uh, regular kill drying sun which I got from BQ and uh, basically shot blasted a whole lot simply because um, in the manual for that um, galvanizing complex for Zynga it says that um, the best results can be achieved if surface actually has certain roughness to it which achievable through shot blasting there were some parts uh, where paint didn't like to come off and I thought if, if it stays that well I would just as well keep it especially that these parts are actually underneath the plastic panels you can see how much mess the, the shot blasting process makes and here's a sample of a, the surface um, that you get from a shot blast you can see it's very um, matte surface it's not smooth so the paint can grip on it really well and all of those little um, cavities that uh, you end up with uh, after little uh, bits of sand hit in the metal can be filled up with the zinc cleaned up in the workshop and uh, taken the van into the workshop for painting you could never do anything inside as far as shot blasting going simply because it's just far too messy but um, painting wise yeah it's totally doable in my case So here's this product, Zynga, and the manual says if you're using it through the spray gun, you should dilute it, and it's, it says you can dilute it to 10%, or if you dilute it any further, all you're going to do, it's not going to be a problem, you're just going to uh, achieve a smoother finish. So in my case, I kind of dilute it to 30%, and uh, I find that it's actually worked really well for me. Now I don't really deal with automotion, automotive things whatsoever and this is a very first uh, paint job that I ever done on the car and uh, it's probably the second or third time that I ever used the uh, spray gun. So before I used spray guns like spraying a little bit of a gate or a couple of posts or some other small bits and pieces like this. So but I kind of figure out that because I have such a big surface area that uh, by the time I'll get to the top layers or really really important stuff if I pay attention I should actually learn how to do it properly so in this case what I've done I actually restrict amount of flow from a paint so there is very little paint comes out and the thinking behind that was that if I have very small amount of paint comes out the process will be very slow therefore I should be able to control and once I get um, used to it I can start increasing flow of paint and the whole thing can just speeds up 
obviously that's that's kind of speed it went to start with as you can see I'm spraying this product Zynga and I'm spraying a little bit over um, painted areas as well I know it's not something that is actually re recommended by manufacturer however I done that simply to be sure that there will be no any exposed areas which may be exposed after shot blasting I find this product uh, very very easy to use and uh, it's very fast drying as well uh, manufacturer says that you should leave about four hours after last coat so it dries up before you uh, spray anything over top of it and they also recommend um, certain sealers to seal the top of it but they're actually quite expensive so I thought I should be alright with the, just applying uh, primer seal, seal apply primer uh, over the top and it should be fine if I let it uh, dry up fairly, fairly well as you can see I have speeded up everything in a, in a video editor simply because it becomes quite boring to watch and um, but in reality it took me a lot more longer time to do it rather than you can actually see it and as you can see right now when, you, when I'm spraying you can see the top of that area is already dries out because it's become a much more lighter shade of grey than uh, where bottom is I had to rise the van so I can reach underneath uh, really well and basically after uh, spraying the whole um, a lot I just give a little bit more um, coats in the areas where I thought uh, maybe it was difficult to put it really well in the first time I really really enjoy spraying with it so the, the primer that I use is uh, made by body and um, it acts as a primer sealer I've, I was watching videos again on the Russian segment of YouTube and many people very dissatisfied with this sort of uh, paint but I have absolutely no experience and nothing to compare with and um, I actually quite like how it worked for me so the way I'm mixing, I'm mixing in 4 to 1 ratio you can see it on the cup and I also, once it's uh, harder been added I also add uh, some thinner to um, thin it down a little bit so I can actually spray it through the gun nice and easily and obviously all you need to do now is just simply mix it all really really well so all components are really mixed together thoroughly I use the same spray gun which was a cheaper kind of thing it's uh, Kennedy tools and it was um, I bought it for a pound on the, one of the auctions along with the other things that was on that pallet so it was best pound I ever spent because it actually worked really well for this particular application it has a two millimeter um, the hole on the actual spray gun so that seems to be a suitable size for spraying primers and um, suitable also for spraying that Zynga product because this primer acts as a sealer and the, the whole area that was sprayed over and uh, it was sprayed over before I had put any fillers to fill up any holes or dents and there was numerous dents or should I say in on this vehicle at this point you will see the speed I was going that uh, real life speed it wasn't slowed down it was just Prior to that, the sections of the video got speed up by quite a lot, so it gives you idea how long it took to do all of these things. But I'm quite happy it's all over and done with, and I'm happy enough that this product should work really well to preserve um, metal underneath it. In comparison to other people who are considering to do um, a car painting or painting their van 
I was in quite lucky position simply because uh, not only that I was able to watch um, different uh, tutorials or different videos that people posting on YouTube into different languages or through different languages I um, also have a neighbor who does uh, painting on cars and stuff so he would pop in every couple of hours and look how I'm progressing he would give me advice on um, what would be the best technique and and obviously that simplified my life quite a lot the hardest part about the whole paint process is not about applying the paint or spraying or not even the um, preparation which is a lot more labor intensive process but the hardest part of it in my opinion is actually sitting and waiting for paint to dry um, so in, in here what you'll see I've already put some filler and I put a little bit too much uh, of the hardener that was before I learned from that video how to do it how to judge amounts and the whole thing just become solid pancake instantly generated quite a lot of heat seam sealer again on the bottom and I made a mistake I never took off the lights I thought that would be easy to clean but they're actually not so um, it's added extra work that I didn't need to because I have such a big surface areas on this one what I actually done I, uh, I just purchased, uh, purchased a travel that normally used for um, doing joints on the plastic board and again because the surface area is so big this tool worked really really well for me if I would have to do it with a small um, tool that was provided by manufacturer of a um, filler it, it would, wouldn't be possible to do it you just need to have something a lot bigger than that um, I also use uh, plastic bags, just rubbish bags for um, protecting the paint over um, the, 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 paint, the existing paint on the van simply because I didn't want any of the anti-chip to land on that paint as it becomes much more harder to take off and I, it, it was my intention to remove all paint from the van completely and what I discovered is due to the static charge in the bugs they can actually stick to the surface by themselves very easily and that, that makes life very easy when you want to put them in the right place, shift it or move about and just stick them wherever you want to, to have them especially if you do that uh, on your own um, the other thing what I also have to say is the filler that I put on the van I never bothered to actually um, sand it down and make absolutely perfect fin finish there is still some cavities been left and so on S just like this what you see on the screen just now simply because um, the surface of the anti-chip is quite rough and it's quite heavy so it will fills up all of these holes and you'll never see them once you put your anti-chip product in there are many videos on YouTube where you see people actually putting filler directly on the metal and maybe that's a case maybe it's a good thing I, I don't know but to me I kind of felt it a lot safer if I will have sealer on the metal and then put filler over, over top of that uh, sealing primer and uh, basically speaking once I sand it down there is also potential that I just sanded through some of that uh, sealer and uh, whatever coats where I put al already so I also run um, one more coat of a um, sealing primer over the top of the, um, the whole uh, filler as well and the rest of it and basically this way I kind of feel comfortable that the whole thing will be sealed properly as I try to keep the moisture away from that uh, metal as, as much as I can the filler has some degree of porosity in it because when you mix in some air bubbles and other things you get uh, mixed into it so I decided to to do it this way if you want to see how uh, anti-chip been put on you need to watch next video in this series